this year has been another insane year for AI progress, and I think there's no better way to recap this year by going through the top 10 most cited AI research papers of 2024, which can also give you an idea of where the AI field is progressing towards. According to Archive, the most popular platform for hosting papers, there are a total of 32,426 papers categorized in CS.AI, aka the AI category, as of November 21st. Other AI-related papers that weren't submitted to Archive are not included in this list. However, most AI papers are published on Archive and most of the big papers are on Archive, so for my convenience, I'll be skipping other platforms. And to give you an idea of how fast the field is going, last year, the AI category has a total of 17,472 papers. And by the end of this year, 2024 would probably have doubled the amount of papers than 2023. So yes, it is a pretty exciting year and the progress is definitely not slowing down. As for the machine learning category, CS.LG, the number increase was not as dramatic as the AI category. Keep in mind that the papers do overlap between these two categories, but there are AI papers that are not included in the AI category, so I'll be referencing both of them later. And before we dive into the most cited papers of 2024, let me just share with you this free resource by HubSpot that can bring your marketing strategy to the next level with AI. This AI prompt library is designed to unlock unconventional marketing strategies, sourced directly from HubSpot CMO and SVP of marketing. Whether you're focusing on marketing and sales, branding and advertising, or business analysis, these prompts help you explore the untapped potential of AI in your marketing workflow. I think everyone here already knows how important prompting is, and good prompts can save you an incredible amount of time. So in this AI prompt library, you get proven high-quality prompts that Kip and Kiran actually use themselves. They range from marketing and sales strategy, branding and advertising, business strategy and analysis, and website strategy and email marketing. With these prompts, you'll discover innovative ways to grow, scale, and differentiate your brand, all while staying ahead of the competition. You can access this AI prompt library completely for free today and start transforming your marketing strategies with the AI. Check them out using a link down in the description and start growing exponentially. And thank you HubSpot for sponsoring this video. Now to the list. So coming in in 10th place with 301 citations, we have the paper DeepSeek Coder, which was published in January 2024 after the public release of the DeepSeek Coder models in November 2023. At that time, I think DeepSeek was still pretty underrated with their announcement tweet only having 159 likes. People definitely slept on this back then and realized how insane it is later on with its paper sitting at the 10th most cited right now. The highlight of this paper is their largest code specific pre-training on 2 trillion tokens with complete transparency in its training process, and with models achieving state-of-the-art result among open source and outperforming closed source models like Codex and GPT 3.5, which were the king at that time. And coming in the ninth place with 324 citations, we have the paper Large Language Models A Survey, which is a paper that encompasses the state of LLM research up to February. So if you want to learn all the major concepts of LLM up until February, of course, then this paper is is a great starting point for you. And coming in the eighth place with 361 citations, we have the Ken paper, short for Kolmogorov Arnold Networks. I have a video on this new machine learning technique, and at the time of the publication, it was a pretty controversial paper because apparently the baseline was not properly trained, so people were pretty suspicious about its actual performance. However, it is the most popular novel architecture of 2024, which I am also pretty surprised about looking at the amount of papers coming out of Ken, so maybe it can become a promising technique. And coming in the seventh place with 405 citations, we have the technical report paper for the Quantum Model series, which introduces a family of open weight LLMs and multimodal models ranging from 0.5 billion parameters to 72 billion parameters. Released back in September by Alibaba, this paper includes more detailed insights of making a mixture of expert model in action, providing the exact training numbers for a huge range of model sizes, alongside some very basic evaluations on their suite of models. Check out this video if you want to learn more about mixture of experts, but basically it's an architecture modification that provides a model to route between different neural networks to store more information while keeping the hardware usage down. And coming in the sixth place with 473 citations, we have the Phi 3 technical report paper published by Microsoft. The Phi series has always been known for being a suite of super tiny models pre-trained on very high quality data like academic papers. 
So this is just basically the third iteration of what they are doing with some insights of how they train their super tiny yet capable models. Coming in the fifth place with 614 citations, we have the big boy Gemini 1.5 paper published in March by the tech giant Google. The highlight about Gemini 1.5 is their insanely large context length and fast generation speed, which sits at a staggering 10 million tokens that utilizes their novel but unknown architectural design. At the time of the release, the ability to take in 10 million tokens shook the entire industry as the next best model was Claude 2.1 with 200k context length. Coming in the fourth place with 664 citations, we have the Vision Mamba paper published in January by a group of researchers from different research labs, with the original Mamba paper published on December 1st last year, which currently sits at 1,382 citations. This Vision Mamba paper is the next biggest paper that implements Mamba, aka a state space model onto Vision, which was originally proposed as a linear complexity alternative of attention-based language modeling. I have a video about the potential of Mamba and Vision Mamba, you can go check it out. Coming in the third place with 677 citations, we have the Gemma paper published in March that is also from Google. Gemma is a 2 billion and 7 billion parameters open weights model derived from their Gemini models with a big focus in AI safety, but we know Google and model safety don't really go hand in hand. I am a bit more surprised that Gemma is this hype because the paper is not super detailed compared to the Quinn series, but the models they released are still great models. I'm just surprised the fact that it is more cited. Coming in the second place with 1,035 citations, we have the modern OG mixture of experts paper. While this technique is not completely new, it has become mainstream with Misro AI's release of the Mixro AX7B model. And not gonna lie, I couldn't believe it myself that MOE is a technique that only became mainstream this year. The timeline of AI development really does feel like it's running on a different scale because it's way too fast. And now, in the first place, the paper that has the most influence in the year of 2024 is the Llama 3 Herd of Models paper published by Meta. This colossal paper with 92 pages of absolute goldmine of information as of November 24th has a total of 1,109 citations. This amount increases by 20 every single day. Keep in mind that the other papers on this list are mostly published between January and April, so they had more time to garner a larger citation count. But the Llama 3 paper was published in July, and this just shows how impactful this paper is to the whole LLM field. This paper is like the bible of training large-scale large language models, with Meta literally sharing how to make a 7B model up to the state-of-the-art 405 billion parameters model. In this paper, you will learn exactly how they optimize the hardware, how they fully stage the pre-training, and other super large scale experiments they have done with vision, multilingual tool use, and even safety alignment. The only only thing they skipped out in the paper is their exact training data mix. So yes, except for this, you literally have the exact blueprint to make a state of the art model. I do also have a video on this paper so check it out for a brief overview. So with how recent Llama 3 paper is and how big of an impact it has on the research world, I feel like we need to use a slightly different format to show the impact of other papers as some may not have enough time to garner that much citations yet to be on this year's top 10 list. So I have also made a list of the most cited papers for every single month. In January, we have the second place mixture of experts paper. In February, we have the seventh place LLM survey paper. In March, we have the third place Gemma paper and also have the most papers in the top 10. In April, we have the sixth place 5-3 paper. In May, we have the paper with 266 citations sitting at the 11th place called Why Larger Language Models Do in Context Learning Differently, which show that smaller models tend to focus better and are more robust to noise, while larger models are more easily distracted because they cover a wider range of irrelevant or less important features. In June, we had a paper in the 126th place with 57 citations. Yes, June is apparently a slow month, and this paper is a survey on LLMs used for code generation. In July, we have the first place Llama 3 paper, in August, we have the Gemma 2 paper from Google with 178 citations that sits at 19th place. In September, 
we have the Quint 2 VL paper from Alibaba with 56 citations sitting at 215th place. In my opinion, this is the current state-of-the-art open weights vision language model matching up to Pixel from Mistral, and their paper has the complete architectural details on how they made it with dynamic resolutions, which is amazing. In October, which is slowly approaching to the current date, we have the GSM symbolic paper with 22 citations sitting at around 600th place. This paper published by Apple is an interesting one. The researchers have observed that by only changing the numbers in a math question, every LLM's accuracy deteriorates badly, showing that LLMs are still far from conquering math reasoning in general. In the same month, the next most cited paper is Mashi, published by Qtai. Sitting at 16 citations, it is a paper that's about their real-time speech dialogue model, Mashi. In the paper, they have shared their exact architecture on how their real-time dialogue was achieved, which is something the biggest chatbots right now still lacks. And yeah, that's it for my research on the most cited AI and ML papers in 2024. I have not included the November list because as of making this video, November still has one week to go. So the citation stats wouldn't be as representative or accurate. So instead, here are some honorable mentions for the paper that didn't make it to the top 10. If I had counted the Mamba paper in the 2024 list, it was published in December 2023, it would have been number one. In the 12th place, we have the Chatbot Arena paper with 236 citations published in March. In the 13th place, we have the Self-Rewarding Language Modeling paper by Meta with 232 citations published in January. And in the 14th place, we have the E-Model published by 01AI with also 232 citations published in March. And yeah, if you want to dig deeper into the list, I'll be publishing it on my Patreon. There are also currently no places where you can sort papers by citations. So if you want to see what's beyond what I've shared in this video and are interested in supporting me, definitely go check it out. And if you like today's collection of papers, definitely check out my newsletter where I cover the latest and the hottest research papers that I might not even have time to make videos about. It is a weekly issue that contains both the latest AI research breakdowns and news, so don't miss out. Thank you guys for watching. A big shout out to Andrew Laschelius, Chris Ledoux, Deegan, Miguelim, Robert Zaviasa, Louis Muck, Ben Shainer, and many others that support me through Patreon or YouTube. Follow my Twitter if you haven't, and I'll see y'all in the next one.